Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Wait on. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. I think this is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. Okay, Alba? Yes. Don't worry about me. How are we going to get across? Well, that beam looks promising. A lot higher up than I thought. Glint talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not. Fall off the tower. They haven't seen us. It's about to get loud. We have to fight. Up this way. Okay, just don't look down. Right! Of course! There's Super tower. easy! Should be able to cross over. Aloy! I'm okay! You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Ah! Alva! Ah, I'm okay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. You sure you're okay? 
Well, the door's locked. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. I think it needs a passcode. Let's keep going. Let's look around. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. So the company was founded in October. Got it. So the company was founded in October. Maybe the data on the... So the company was founded in October. Which is the tenth month of the cost year. reduction strategy. We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omoramba, but this is worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad. Shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omoramba wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Pull that. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. a long way up. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Whew. 
that's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire gleam, the elevator might fall and open up a path to Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Okay, but, um... Why? Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. Right, Hulf was on the way. Let's see what's up here. Made it! Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts. I. I think these were Eileen's. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. Then maybe they'll help with the door. be the Larson Macquarie Award. The legacy says Eileen won it when she was 40 for her work on Leviathan. Interesting. This looks like some kind of prototype. For water purification. Must be the H2 flow. Uh, what? H2 flow. Their early inventions had strange names. My focus might see something. It's art, I think. Could it be? Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. That must be the Dragonfly 6. Abbe used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. What was this thing again? The H2 flow. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Mm, it's worth a try. How old was Eileen when she won this award? 40. What was the name of this thing? The H2 flow. And what did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. What was this called again? The Dragonfly 6. That didn't do anything. I thought that would have worked. Did we overlook something? You said Eileen was how old when she won this? 40. What was this called again? The H2 flow. You said this was commissioned for something? The company's 25th anniversary. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. Remind me, what was this called? The Dragonfly 6. Can my focus see anything? The two artifacts on the ground. Maybe they used to be on opposite pedestals. You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Impressive view. It must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Oh, it's official. 
Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors, statistics, <laughs> far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water, improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe the lie was truth, but I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts, no more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, uh, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Leviathan... Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay. I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. A rush of air. to send us all kinds of messages back in the day. All over the world, too. Anytime they want. Aloy, do you have a moment? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alpha. I'll put it to good use. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the Ancestors. The Overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. 
the archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed, just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that, instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I gotta head out. I'll let you know when it's time to leave for Gemini. I can keep studying in the meantime. Hey. What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? Well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. It turns out it really is. Oh, and I'll let you know if I find out anything more about the Sons of Prometheus. The same here. So this Hephaestus, he's like uh, Gaia's own personal blacksmith. Yeah. Welcome back. Hello, Aloy. Hey, Gaia. So, uh, me and Beta, I guess you heard what happened. Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel. I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. So, about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us until now. She's been through so much. Completely alone. You have both endured many hardships. Different in almost every respect, yet equally remarkable. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobek. Three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. How's all of us settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. When I set out to find a way to bring you back, I never thought we'd be here, like this. Among friends. They have all come a long way with their improvised educations. Varl has suggested that one day we might extend this model to more tribal inhabitants, once the biosphere has been stabilized. Yeah, that's not such a bad idea. As long as you're the one running the lessons. I found some data in one of the rooms you unlocked. It mentioned that there are still functional seed banks beneath this facility. Why is it there? My predecessor was tasked with reconstituting the biosphere with primary and secondary plant species. Had everything gone according to plan, humans would have eventually been able to introduce tertiary species 
including new crops. Can we access them now? Unfortunately, it will have to wait. I require control over the machines in order to access and distribute the preserved seed stock. And for that, we need a Festus. It's something to look into later, then. So what will happen to this place while we're at Gemini? All systems within this facility will continue to operate. As Minerva will no longer be masking this location, the facility will be exposed to detection. Though without my presence, it is unlikely to attract attention. Let's hope so. So I, uh, found Thebes. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans, and his ability to use Omega clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep, glad that didn't happen. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thebes, there was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together. Connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errand, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my Cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. <laughs> Connecting to the cauldron network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Critical threat detected in escape containment. Applying. Lock it 
Terminating external connections. It's working! It's got nowhere to go! Capture your imminent. Initiating contingency 13F. Wait, what's that? Malware detected. Attempting to compensate. Containment. <laughs> It's cracked. Look! Machines are on their way. Get ready. Here they come. We're spotted. Okay? Still breathing. Aloy, Hephaestus can't escape, but it must have fled deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back here. It out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. You don't, Hephaestus!
Aloy, I'm patched into your focus feet. You should know there is a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. Kind of production chamber. Festus is up to something, all right. What what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers are leading to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding too. Better follow them. I might be able to catch a ride on the rail. I'll go over the shield. most of the components in the core, but the energy processor's cracked. Without a way to fabricate another, th there's no way I can fix it. Okay, um, let me think. What if you bypass the processor, connect it to the power node? I think that could work.
Get comfortable. Energy containment failed safe so much. Great. Let's just cover the floor with lightning. I gotta find a way over it. Aloy! More machines keep coming. Please tell me you're getting close. I'm working on it. I've been smashing through a lot of machines on my side, too. I guess Aaron's missing out. Aloy, I'm making progress on the bypass, but I, I need something to hold the cyclate module together. Maybe a ligament from one of the machine carcasses? Right. O or some luminous braiding. And you could reinforce it with a conversion cylinder. For increased connectivity! I, I think... I think we can do this, Aloy!
Node access restored. Now you can override it. Good work. You did heavy lifting. Okay. Festus is running out of places to hide. Uh, Aloy? I just registered a huge energy surge back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The that Festus was building. It must have finished it. Oh, it's, it's powerful. Whatever it is. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should, should come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if... No, Vader. Just stay where you are, okay? And the machine's my job. Okay. Be safe. Stand by. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. No more hiding, Hephaestus! Got it! Hephaestus is back in the core! 